Welcome, my name is Brian Hayes. In this video, I'm gonna show you why you might not be getting chatter emails and how to fix it. It's actually pretty easy. So you might have noticed that you've created a chatter post or a colleague of yours has created a chatter post and your app mentioned in it. Well, typically, if you're at mentioned in a post, you should get an email notifying you that someone's trying to talk to you. And there's two different things that might be happening that are preventing you from getting that message. The first thing to check is your own personal chatter email settings. You can find that by clicking on the picture in the upper right hand corner, your picture, and then clicking on settings. These are your user settings. And from here, you can come down to chatter and email notifications. And in classic Salesforce style, we have a bunch of check boxes here. And so if none of these are checked or you don't have received emails checked, well then naturally you're not gonna be getting a message. But my guess is you probably have all of these selected already and that's not the problem. The other potential cause for that problem is a change that went to effect in the winter 24 release. So as of pretty recently, it is now required that chatter emails must have the email address field filled out in chatter settings in order for that message to be sent. And that's what it's saying here in this help document. So what that's referring to is in Salesforce, in the setup area, click the gear in the upper right hand corner to get there. When you type in chatter, you'll find that there is an email settings area under the chatter menu item. And from here, you can write in the from name and the email address that's gonna be sending those chatter email notifications. This is gonna be blank by default. Previously, it didn't matter. It would come from you know chatter or no reply at Salesforce, something along those lines. Well, it doesn't work anymore. So you have to put in an email address in this section here and add a from name as well. Once you add an email address here and click save, those should start to be sent again. Now, best practice here is to insert an email address that is with the domain that Salesforce is authorized to send from. So you don't have to do this step, but it's recommended. Set up your DKIM keys. You can do that by searching for DKIM in the setup menu here and create a new key. And you can go through the steps of updating the DNS records on your company domain so that Salesforce is then authorized to send from that email address. If you don't set this up, it'll probably be fine. It's just your risk of landing in spam it goes quite a bit higher. But if these are chatter notifications that are only going to internal users, I wouldn't be too worried about it. If you've got some sort of a portal or something and you're sending chatter notifications to external users or customers, then I would absolutely go through this step and make sure that the DNS records are set up. To recap, to ensure that you're receiving those chatter email notifications, first check your personal settings and make sure that you're selected emails to be sent to you. And then secondly, go ahead and check the setup menu and make sure that there's an email address listed under email notifications in that chatter menu area. Hope this video helps. I'll see you in the next one.